What is going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with Victory Formation. I have a special guest in the building today, Mr. Jordan Hall. Commit to the JSU Tigers on the offensive line. Jordan, how's it going, buddy? It's going great. How you doing? Hey, I'm good, man. I can't complain. And I know the JSU Tiger Nation is feeling really great about your commitment. You were on a recent visit down there for the homecoming game. But before we get into all of that, man, I, I really want to ask you about how that went and what you were able to do and see. But let's talk about football and the start of your football career. Who got you in the ball? Uh, what made you, you know, like the game, want to play the game, pursue the game? But but who got you started in your football early career? <clears throat> uh I feel like shit, it was really probably my mom. Cause uh mm-hmm. that's when I started playing I started playing uh like peewee football when I was younger. But you know, as I got older, I I kinda grown out of football. I started playing mm. started playing basketball, but then in high school I went back to football. But <clears throat> You know, I was really a hooper first. <laughs> he was a hooper. <laughs> so what? So what? Does it, do you think you were just better at basketball? Is that what made you, you know, gravitate towards that more so football? What, is that what that was like uh, during that period? Not that. Not, not, not that was better. I, I just liked it more. Hmm. Yeah. So when you were in high school, was it somebody that seen you and seen your size was like, "Hey, you need to come play for us"? Like, how, how did you end up back on the football field? My high school football coach. Was, you know, I was talking to him about it. He was talking about how I can, I can, I can go farther with football. I mm. probably could have basketball at the time. I got you, man. And then, I like, got you. When I, and when I started, actually, yeah, I picked up – I actually started playing. And, like, I started junior year, and I was able to pick up 15 offers in less than a year. It was, like – it was, it was like in a span of a couple months. Wow. So, talk, so let's talk about that. Let's jump right into it, man. Your <laughs> high school career. You you saying that were you mainly playing like JV before the junior year? I kind of how or was it freshman nah, ball I wasn't, JV? Or, I wasn't. He wasn't playing it. I was on the field. I was on the court. I was hoping. So you didn't play football at all until your junior high school. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. Bro. <laughs> like what? So you were walking around the halls of what was it? Kip is the Kip yeah. High School? Is it uh, Kip High Kip School? Columbus. Kip Columbus. Okay, yeah. I was walking around Kip Columbus, and finally somebody stopped you when you were a junior and was like, "Hey, bro, come, 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 hop on the field, dog." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they was <clears throat> they been telling me to hop on the field, but I'm like, I play basketball, bro. That's not for me. <laughs> so then, let's talk. What was that? I was saying, and then. I gave it a try, and here we are now. Wow, bro. So let's talk about that, man. You get on the field after not playing for a long time. Was it – did it just come natural to just move people around, or, like, did you have to get back into the groove of things? Because it sounds like it kind of took off pretty quick. Uh, Yeah, it took off quick on recruiting-wise, but it coming back natural, no, it didn't. Once again, we're talking to Jordan Hall, three-star JSU commit out of Columbus, Ohio. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. And so, Jordan, you were explaining to me that, you know, during your junior year, you said it wasn't natural, but you, you seem to have gotten a groove of things. How did recruiting start? And it sounds like it took off that first year, but, like, who was the first team to kind of reach out? Uh, when did you kind of notice that, hey, you could actually play football at the next level? Uh. The first team that actually reached out, it was uh, Toledo. Okay. Uh, and, uh, they ended up coming to our school after the season, uh, offering me and two other people. And, like, that's when I was, like, and, like, that's when, like, I really saw. I was like, yo, I've been uh, – I've been – I played a couple games and I got a deal on offer. I'm like, this can really take off. Mm. Yeah. And then that's when I started like pursuing it more heavily. I got you. I got you, man. So let's. So you said Toledo came, and then obviously fourteen other schools came off during that year. Yeah. Uh, when did JSU get involved? Who was the coach that first reached out? When did they get involved? And, and how did that process start to work? Uh, 
the coach that reached out was uh uh Coach Brewster. Okay. Yeah. Uh he actually texted me on Twitter and told me to call him. And you know, I called him. We had a good conversation for like thirty minutes. And then he he ended up offering me and telling me that they want to bring me off his visit. And so <laughs> what was your mindset? When when you got to talk to Coach Brewster and got that JSU off, did you know much about what was happening at JSU? Kind of what was your your process yeah. behind that? Uh, I know I know what's happening at JSU. Like I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the whole world know. What's going on <laughs> yeah. And so before JSU kind of got involved, did you know much about HBCUs or like anything that was happening there, or was that kind of new to you when that came along? Uh, it was kind of new to me. Okay. Like, I ain't know much about HBCUs other than it was, uh, like, black colleges. That's really, that's really, that's really, like, all I knew about it. I got you, man. I got you. And so, you took your visit to, well, well, before your visit, you were actually committed by the time you took your visit. What made you go ahead and pull the trigger and go ahead and commit to Coach Prime, Coach Brewster, and the rest of the guys over at JSU. Uh, it was a it was a relationship that me and Coach Brewster built over the time. He he offered me, and then uh, and then it was me wanting to be a part of something different. It made my, uh, it was me. I wanted to build my own legacy, going a different route than everybody else would. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So when you come back, you know, when you decide to commit, right, who's the first person that you tell? Do you tell the coaches first? Do you tell moms first? Like, who is the people and what are the reactions when you tell them that you committed uh, to Jackson State? I, I told I told my my high school coaches staff that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and they, I mean, they were obviously happy for me, and, uh, excited. And then after that, I told Coach Brewster, and you know he was on board. He wanted me, so I was, I was, I was ready to roll after that. And then I told mom. So what was mom? Oh, oh sorry. What was? Oh, it's all good, man. What was mom's uh, reaction when you told her, "Hey, you know, one, your son's going to college for free, and not only are you going to college, but you're going to go play at Jackson State." Or, like. People keep calling me for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a popular yeah. guy, man. But what was, what was what you were saying? You were talking about mom? Yeah. Uh, she wanted me to go to a, a HBCU anyway. And, like, mm. I was talking to her about it. I'm like, you know, if, if I had to go to one, it would only be JSU. So if it's not JSU, then I'm not going. Like, I told her – I told her that back – like, it was like – it was like back – and like and like the off season, like last season, like it was like after the playoffs. I, I was like, it was like back in like I want to say, I want to say it was like back in like November last last year or whatever. Yeah, I was, yeah. Like I was talking to her about it, and, and my coaches. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to HBCU unless it's JSU, and then <laughs> and then it happened. So now we here. Hey man, it's almost like you manifested it, dog. I'm almost like, yeah, you spoke it into existence. It's something you wanted to do. Around that time, you said in November of last year, I think Travis Hunter went ahead and signed with JSU in December. Uh, you being a high school athlete at the time, was that something that you noticed? And if so, uh, what did you think about that at the time? Yeah, it was it was it was something that the whole country noticed. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, why not be different? You know, absolutely. Um, yeah, I noticed it. I'm like, but like in my head, I don't think nothing about it because like at the time, I I I ain't had an office. So I'm like, shoot, I'm about to go to one of these schools that's, you know, like just like a regular school. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about you went ahead and took a visit down to Jackson State for their homecoming game, man. Uh, what was that like? What was that atmosphere? It's fifty thousand people in the building. Uh, they got a win over Cam uh, Campbell. Uh, you were there. You kind of took it all in. What was that like for you? Uh, the atmosphere was like electrifying. Like it was, it was so many fans. They all cheering, and you know, you know, I was on, I was on the field. I was, I was on the field uh, 
during the warmups, and like they was looking like very uh focused and, and professional. I love it. I I love their every every part of it. Absolutely, man. Who who all got to go on the visit with you? Who was uh, on your official visit with you? Uh, it was just me and mom. Okay. How did mom kind of like? What was her experience like? I mean, uh, she was excited. I feel like uh, she was, but like she was really excited to see the uh, band play. Like mm. that was yeah, like yeah, like that was that was like you know her main thing that she wanted to actually see. Cause uh, I think she used to be in a band. But back okay. Her, her college days. I got you. I got you. Now you don't have to let me in on all the secrets, but I saw you were in the locker room. You were trying on the jerseys. How that jersey feel on you, man? What what that feel like to see that Jackson State across your chest? It felt amazing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it, felt, it, it felt good. It felt like I actually like. It, actually, it felt like I belong there. I ain't gonna lie. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Now, you don't have to let me in on the entire conversation, but what was something I saw you, you know, take some pictures with with Coach, with Coach Prime? What was some of uh, that conversation like? Uh, You know, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was me, him, and Coach Brewster. We was talking about football and me getting to the next level and, like, what it takes to do everything or, like, or, like, like, yeah, basically, like, what it takes to be great. And like, and like, he was asking me about about like the stuff I do in high school and stuff. Okay, 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 man. So like, let, let's. And I, I won't hold you for too much longer. Once again, we're talking to Jordan Hall, Columbus, Ohio. He's committed to Jackson State. He'll be a part of that 2023 recruiting class. And one thing that's really special about you, man, and the guys in your class is that Coach Prime talks about all the time that he mainly gets most of his recruits from the portal. And only a few high school recruits that they'll accept yeah. as far as going into the recruiting class. And you are one of those guys. How does that feel to know that you're one of a select few amount of guys? It's a, it's a million people want your spot, bro. And, and you're one of the guys to, to get that spot. How does that feel? It feels amazing because I, I was talking to – I was actually talking to uh, Coach Brewster about that too. It was the day he offered me. He was like, yeah, they usually they usually only offer a couple kids and then like they get the rest out of the portal. And he was like, and he was like, me getting this offer is a big deal. So, you know, I was excited off the jump. But absolutely, absolutely, man, absolutely. Now, I want to ask you about just school, right? Like, you're going to JSU. You're a student athlete, but you have to go to class. What is something that you think you might want to major in when you get to Jackson State? Uh, that's a great question. Cause like, when they asked me, I didn't, I didn't have an answer for it. I ain't gonna lie. It was uh I'll probably say something to do with sports though. Okay. Okay. So outside of football, man, what are some of your activities, some of your hobbies that you like besides playing football? You I know basketball is one of them. I forgot yeah. you know, you're a hooper at art. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm not like if I ain't working out or playing football, I'm 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 inside uh I'm inside either playing video games or watching anime. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> watching what? Anime. Anime. Okay, what's your yeah. favorite anime? Dragon Ball Z. Oh, that's the best one, man. That is a classic, man. That is a yeah. classic. That's my favorite as well. I'm a big DBZ guy. Okay, so video games. What, what's your go-to video game? Uh, so probably, probably right now, 2K... Need for Speed, uh, Call of Duty, uh, probably Fortnite right now. I got you. Yeah. Are you a Are you an Xbox guy or PlayStation person? Xbox all the way. Xbox. Oh man, you wanted a rare man. We don't get a lot of Xbox dudes on here, man. We don't. Xbox all the way. I got you. I got you. So do your friends have? Uh, do they have Xboxes you can play with oh, online? Yeah, 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 oh yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. That must be a Columbus thing, because I don't get to talk yeah, to many folks. It probably, it probably is. I ain't going to lie. I don't know. I, I know people who have PS4s, too. I'm like, bro, PlayStation not the move, though. It's just, it's, just, it's just not better than Xbox, in my opinion. And it's so hard to get. Them PS5s, oh, my yes. God. They've been out for, like, two, three years, and you still can't just go in a store and get one. But, you know, mm. that's, what I'm, whatever. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, who, <laughs> who, who want that console, bro? Like, 
<laughs> I feel you, man. Okay, so Jordan, in your headphones before a game, who is somebody or a couple of artists that you that you tapping into before you get ready to go play on Friday nights? Uh, Twenty One Savage, uh, MG Sleepy. Ooh, you put me on. I don't know who MG Sleepy is. It, that's that's a new one for me. Uh, little baby. Uh, and and probably some Rio. Okay, okay. Yeah. Some good artists in there. Some really good artists for the for the folks that haven't seen you play. First of all, what's your like measurables and in uh, what position? I know you're on the offensive line, but what is their exact position that J State wants you to play? Uh, left tackle. I mean, I can do both. So either either, either left or right, it don't, it don't really matter. But, okay. Uh, but uh, left tackle. I'm six eight, and I'm uh three twenty five right now. Six foot eight, three twenty five. Man, they man, that is a that's some some nice size on you, big dog. <laughs> some nice. Were you mm-hmm. always the tallest kid in school, or were you? Uh, or did you kind of hit a growth spurt? No, nah, I always been the tallest kid. Like, like <laughs> I think uh, going into my freshman year, I was six six. Wow. Yeah, you like, were six foot six in middle school. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, I probably. I see why you was a hooper. I see yeah, that makes so, sense so now. Saying, that like, makes like, sense now. <laughs> yeah, like I think I grew, I grew like three inches in one year. Like, wow. like three inches in one year, and then I think I was I was like six five in eighth grade, and then I ended up growing again that summer, and then I was six six in my freshman year. Yeah, that's why I was always hoping. That's why I don't. That's why I was I was on the court the whole time. I, I'm I'm with you now. That makes sense. Yeah. And I knew for some reason I thought you were only around six foot four. Didn't think you were six eight, big dog. I'm not even gonna lie. I oh, must have read wrong somewhere. I must have read wrong somewhere. I read it. I don't. I don't maybe my dyslexia kind of messed it up. Or I don't know. But like, <laughs> I didn't know you were six foot eight. No, that is wild. That is wild, man. It's so Jordan. What are so like? You you're at high school. You're gonna join the team. Uh, you know, hopefully during the summer and everything. What are your predictions for JSU the rest of the way? What what do you think, Coach Prime, Coach Brewster, Shadour, and the rest of those guys gonna be able to do uh, throughout the rest of the season? Undefeated, champions, for sure. <laughs> Undefeated champions for sure. Undefeated. Absolutely, man. I believe they got all the pieces they need to do it. So I feel like they gonna they gonna execute the plan and do it. Honestly, now, honestly, absolutely, man, absolutely. Now, now that you're a part of the class, uh, as a as a guy a part of the 2023 class, I, I I haven't been asking recruits this, but I'm now I'm curious. Do you help Coach Brewster, Coach Prime, and those guys recruit other players? Or is there anybody that you suggest to them, or the, how does that kind of work? I mean, nah, not like suggested to them. Like you talking about like. Have like I ever asked them to like look at somebody's film? Possibly, or if there's a, a guy that you know that they're looking at, maybe you reach out to him. Does that work? Like, does that kind of work that way? Uh, I actually, I mean, I texted some people who like already had the offer. I'm okay. Like, yeah, I'm like, you might as well just just come home, just you were <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. How do you do? You talk to the other guys a part of the class? Like, do you guys talk? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I went down there, you know, I'm actually cool with some people who uh who when they visit. So you know, we 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 lock we locked in. That's awesome, man. Once again, we're talking to Jordan Hall, Columbus, Ohio, JSU commit, going to go play for Coach Prime in the class of 2023. Jordan, I'll get you out on this, man. For the folks that haven't been able to see you play, just how would you describe your game and, and what do you, what are you going to be able to bring to the Jackson State uh, football team in the fall of 2023? Can you repeat that? Uh... Can you repeat that? Okay, yeah. No, I was like, for the folks that haven't been able to see you play football just yet, uh, just what uh, – how would you describe oh, your oh, – Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, they, uh, how I would describe my game and, like, how I play. Like, if I had to, like, if I had to, like, pick up myself to somebody else, I would compare myself to uh, Dewan Jones from uh, Ohio State. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he played right, play right tackle. Like – 
I feel like I'm 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 somewhere similar to him because like we both big burly guys, you know, who used to play basketball too. Like mm. we used to hoop too. I used to hoop. You know, it's just like some some. It's just like some some us limeries there, and then uh, I feel like I'm gonna bring a lot to Jackson State. Like, you know, I'm a. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna bring hard work and effort. Hard work and effort. Absolutely, man. With well, Jordan once again, this is Jordan Hall out of Kipps Columbus in Ohio. He is a three-star commit to Jackson State. He will be a part of that class of 2023. Jordan, man, appreciate it taking a few minutes out of your day to talk with me. Hey, and good luck to you the rest of your high school season. And, of course, when you hit 1400 Lynch Street to play for Coach Prime, man. Hey, good luck to you, and congratulations, and looking forward to seeing what you do in the future. Thank you. No problem, man. Once again, you're watching the uh, Victory Formation. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and we will see you next.